Hey, what's up? It's uh, Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and today I'm going to take a look at phase and phase shift. Phase is the difference in degrees between the point in the cycle of a wave and its origin. We've seen that a completed cycle runs for 360 degrees, so 180 degrees would be the phase angle for half the cycle. Phase is actually a measurement of time expressed in degrees. The difference between the phases of these two different points is what we call the phase shift. This phase shift can be of uh, two different types. We can have a constructive interference or a destructive interference. When we add two identical waves together at zero degree phase shift, we get a constructive interference and this results in a doubled amplitude. You can see that the sound is louder, it actually builds up the amplitude. When we add two identical waves of the same frequency and the same amplitude together at 180 degrees, we get a destructive interference. And then you can see we have a complete cancellation and a zero amplitude, so we actually have no sound. I'm going to demonstrate that here. I'm going to play this sine wave at, uh, let's use the 220 hertz. And I'm going to add this 220 hertz, which is exactly offset it with 180 degrees. And I'm going to play that back. You can see they're both generating sounds. When we sum them, we get this 180 degree phase shift, which completely cancels out this signal. So now I'm gonna combine two sine waves at zero degree phase shift. And I'm gonna play these together. You notice that the amplitude is exactly doubled. So when does this phase shift occur when I'm doing a recording? Well, a real simple example would be when we're gonna be recording a snare drum. I made this illustration of when we hit the snare drum. There's many occasions in which we choose to record this snare from both sides, as well as from the top as from the bottom. When we talk about sound, we have compression and rarefraction, the movement going up and down, looking at the waveform. As seen from the diaphragm from each microphone, this is exactly the opposite for the upper part from the snare drum as for the lower part of the snare drum. This phasing will not occur on all frequencies of the snare, but we will definitely notice that there are some frequencies missing or even amplified. For that we've got a 180 degrees phase offset switch on a console or uh, on a microphone preamp. And this allows us to offset the phase by 180 degree and just invert the signal. We can also run into some of these phase problems when we double track a recording. So here I've got the vocal recording from a previous tutorial and uh, I'll play that back in solo. So this is my voice when I'm compressing away the... So you can hear. And I've offset that in time like two milliseconds here. You can see it's exactly the same file and it's just slightly offset it. And I'm gonna play that back. So this is my voice when I'm compressing away the bass line. You can hear this is that distinct phasing sound. I can even shift it a little bit later. So this is my voice when I'm com So this is my voice when I'm So this is my voice when I'm compressing away So this is my voice when I'm compressing you can uh, hear that when I'm uh, offsetting it in time, this problem kind of shifts to different frequencies when I move it. So this is a problem that we have when exactly duplicating a vocal track. Another trick could be to pan each of the two channels to a different direction, left and right. That way they're not summed when they come out of your speaker. But when you uh, mix down your track in mono, you will still have the problem. So on certain uh, systems, when you play back the song, you will uh, miss a lot of the frequency content. So this was uh, phasing for today. I hope you've learned something and I uh, hope to see you all soon. Peace. <laughs>